Hello everyone, anyone, everybody. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley. And it's time to have a little fun and challenge ourselves a little bit by playing a game I like to call the odd one out. Which is the odd one out? Uh, what we're going to do, uh, I will give you four words and using your amazing powers of deduction uh, your job is to figure out which of the words does not belong in the group of four and why. Now your reasoning can have anything to do with anything. It can be purely conceptual, uh, it can be in certain context, it could be grammatical, could be spelling, um, absolutely any reason that you can deduce that one of the words in the group does not belong with the other words in the group. And of course you will practice your English by uh, supporting your opinion why that word is the odd one out. Uh, hello Michael. Hi there. Hello, hello teacher Oakley. Yeah. How are ya? A little tired, as you might guess, but okay. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's, it's getting late. Get us sleep. It's close to my bedtime, Michael. <laughs> what, what is the... Do you remember we we had a lot, like future, I don't know what type of future, but so there's like you should have been sleep by 10 o'clock or something. What is the proper... Oh. You you're, you should have been sleeping by ten o'clock. By ten o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Sure. This is my advice too. <laughs> this is my advice, retroactive advice. Yeah. Yep. It's too late now. No, I just remember the class that we had. Yeah. Like about this uh, future, and I, it's kind of uh, uh, difficult future. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, now. Where is everybody else? There's a bunch of people signed up for the class. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. And how are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I got at least two of you here. All right, we're playing odd one out, Andrew. All right, I'm going to give a list of four words. I can do the first couple rounds, but in the backs of your minds or when it's not your turn, you can start thinking about four words of your own because you guys can also uh, definitely participate by giving four words and see if the rest of us can figure out why one of the words is different than the other three. For what reason? It could have to do with the definition, with the words in context, with grammatical reasons, with uh, spelling, could be any reason. Uh, okay, uh, hi Poom. Hi teacher, hello. Boom, 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 Poom is in the room. Ow. Hey, how are you? That's ya? a rap. rap. Yeah, I'm rapping. It must be late <laughs> at night, I'm starting to rap. <laughs> yeah. How okay. You, What's that, Poom? Yes. Hi. Okay. Maybe I should change my name to Poom. Or something else. How about Doom? Doom. 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 <laughs> Doom. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's. I'll come up tomorrow with another name. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well that might be fun. All right, let's let's start off kind of simple. Now you, you guys all have access to the Verbling chat box. I hope is anybody on a weird device and you can't see the Verbling chat box. No. Okay. Good. I'm gonna take it for granted then. Okay, I am typing up a list of four words for us. Uh, by the way, if 
of course, uh, I'm going to come up with words, possibly words that you don't know, so just don't be shy. Ask, of course. All right, here you go. Here are the four words. Our first set, bucket, pail, cup, tub. There they are. Okay, Michael, you have the honor as you were the first to enter the class. Okay. What do you think? So, the question is, what is bucket? Okay, uh, do you know pale? No, I... Uh, <laughs> that's the second question. <laughs> that's the second question. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I could run out and find you a bucket, I'm sure. A bucket is usually, okay, a, um, its usual shape, it's a cylinder. It, very, uh -huh. it normally has a U-shaped handle. It's made for carrying liquids, water, pretty much. Uh, children, you have a bucket and a sh little shovel, and they bring them to the beach, so they can uh -huh. shovel sand into the bucket and maybe put water in the bucket, turn the bucket on upside down, and build a sandcastle. So, do you that have uh, a bucket of ashes? Do you have this collocation? A bucket of what? Saying ashes. Ashes. A bucket of ashes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that... <laughs> That is extremely familiar, but I have heard that before. But I actually, I must say, I don't really know what that means. Okay. You, you? No, this is um, in um, so this uh, there is like um, quote quote like the past is back at uh, of ashes. You should like wake up every morning and throw it out. No, th ah. throw it away. Throw it away, like in, in this quote, I've had like the ba uh, the past is uh, the bucket of ashes. So. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I can understand that. I can discern the meaning of that. Sure, it's useless. Okay, bucket and a pail is pretty much the, exactly the same thing. Okay. Okay, I see. Pail is a synonym of bucket. Basically, yeah. So what is the difference between a pail and a bucket, then? Mm, not really much. Um, if, if this item were made of plastic, I no doubt would call it a pail. If it was made of metal, I'd okay. probably call it a bucket. Pail is... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's not really much difference at all, frankly. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So, so, any ideas? Which word is the odd one out? Which one does not belong in the group? Okay, so I found uh, what is the difference. Pale is uh, uh, mostly a metallic object uh, shaped in a near cylindrical fashion, but buckets okay. can be made of any old material. Oh, especially really? plastic, okay. and can be shaped more strangely than pails. <laughs> okay. So this is like uh, the explanation. Okay, so cup and tub. But what is tub? Tub is like a really... A tub... Uh, <laughs> Andrew's Dictionary says a pail is a bucket. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a tub. All right. A tub is, again, possibly made of plastic, possibly made of metal. It is a very large object. It could be totally round. Um, it, it could be sh have a shallow edge or a deeper edge. It, it varies. You take a bath in a tub, a bath tub, all right? Okay. Thing people fill with water, or um, people who wash their laundry by hand use a tub, a not a small pa smaller pail, but a big tub. Okay, a tub is generally a lot bigger. Okay, so I go for for cup because it's the smallest one. Because it's the smallest. Yeah, because you can hold okay. in the one. Um, one hand, and you can drink from that without any help. Like you take with your hand and you drink water. 
but mm. from those three bucket pail tub you have to if you want to drink from those you have to either to put your head in the in them like <laughs> like a pig to drink or to take with both hands and to drink. okay yeah okay uh, good enough andrew what word do you think doesn't belong in a group and why uh, uh, maybe i'm thinking about uh, the form of these things because bucket yeah. is quite it's like a uh, in a circle, pail as well, and cup too. But tub has a form of uh, um, not uh, uh, what is the right definition of this <laughs> form. What is that called? Uh, is it an ellipse, elliptoid, ellipsis? It's like yeah, ellip, elliptoid. Something form, like yeah. that, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think it's a top. Ah, uh, okay. All right, fair enough. Although sometimes tubs can be round, but okay, it, often it's not. The others are always round. So still, fair enough. Good, good enough. Oh, okay, very good. Poom. Yes. What do you think? Which word doesn't belong? I think um, is a cup. Why? Uh, we normally use cup for the for the drink, but the other just anything. We can put anything in it, but not for cup. Cup it for something that we can drink. Okay. All right. I guess that's okay. Now that's very close to Michael's answer. You know. No, basically no. he said that. Uh, no, no, he said that in cup you put only liquid that you are going to drink, oh, but okay. in bucket pail tub you pu can put some kind of dirty water or something. <laughs> dirty water. Okay, yeah. okay, fair enough. I, I understand that. Oh, okay, so a cup would only contain things you're going to drink or potable liquids. Well, here let's learn it. English vocabulary while we're here in class. Okay, so uh, there you go, Poom. There's a little vocabulary for you. Potable liquids. If it's potable, that means you can drink it. All right, bleach, not unpotable. Okay, you, you don't want to drink bleach. Trust me on that. Uh, okay. All right, potable liquids, drinkable. Okay, very good. Uh, as an example, hello Sergio. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, we're we're doing a little thing called odd one out, and uh, uh, okay, everyone has come up with a reason why these one of the words does not belong in this list, which is here in the verbling chat box: bucket, pail, cup, tub. Just to give you an example, I'm going to give you three different answers. Okay? Mm -hmm. One, I would choose cup because bucket, pails, and tubs are primarily made out of metal or plastic, but cups are ceramic. Okay? This is, I've never ever, here's my coffee, I've never ever seen a ceramic bucket, pail, or tub. Not in my life. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'll give you another one. Bucket is the word that doesn't belong because it has two syllables. Bucket. And the other three words are one syllable word. Ah! -ha -ha. Yes, we can use English to make a difference. Okay. Third. My third choice is pale because. The other three words contain the phonetic uh. uh cup, tub, bucket. Ah. And pale does not contain that phonetic vowel sound. Mm -hmm. Ta da! There you go. As a demonstration. So, your reasons can have to do with the form, with the material, with the context where it's used, with uh, uh, actual. 
grammar, with spelling, pronunciation, doesn't matter. All right? Uh, let's go. So, ready, Sergio? I'm going to give you a new list. Here we thank go. You. Okay. Thank you. You'll th you won't thank me <laughs> after you see the list. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, Okay, and I, as I said to everyone earlier, if you, you know there's any words you don't know, uh, just ask, obviously. Here is a new set of words. Blush, frown, sigh, tremble. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got verbs this time. Well, maybe, do we? I say too much. Okay. Can uh, we go each uh, word? Uh, can you explain each word in part? Because ah, ah, I'm not sure if I know the okay. meaning, exact meaning of all of them. I would love to. More than happy to. Okay. Blush is what you do when you're embarrassed and your face turns red. You are blushing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frown. Smile. Your cheeks are up. Frown. Your cheeks are down. Turn that frown upside down. Mm. Frown. Brown. Okay. Hmm. Sigh. Uh, may I demonstrate? <sighs> there. That was a sigh. <laughs> uh, and tremble is when you shake. My camera's not so good, so you can't see me shaking. But when you tremble, you shake. Often you tremble because you're very nervous. Usually we mm -hmm. use the word tremble. Um... Not if you're cold. Of course, people, when they shake, when they're cold, we say they shiver. Okay? But when they shake because they're nervous or scared, uh, then we generally use the word tremble. Mm -hmm. Or shake, obviously, works for both. Okay, shiver if you're cold. Uh, okay, Sergio, which word do you think does not belong in the list? Blush, frown, sigh, tremble. Frown, blush, tremble. Mm. Maybe tremble. Why? Because finishing bowel. Oh, very clever, Sergio, because uh, uh, exactly like your name, it finishes with a vowel. So, uh, Sergio, by yes. your own by your own logic, you are the one who doesn't belong in the class. <laughs> <laughs> because we have Poom, which ends with an M, Michael, which ends in an L, and uh, Andrew, which or Andre, whichever way you say it, ends with a consonant. So there you go, Sergio. So there, na na na. All right, Sergio, good answer, good job. Okay, Thanks. Poom, what is your answer? Mm. I think it uh mm, I think it's tremble. Tremble as well. Okay. And uh, why is that? Um because the uh the brush frown and sigh it it happens on your face. Uh-huh. Brush and far, yes, like that. But the tremble, you can, uh, your hand is trembling. Yes. Your hand is trembling. Yes, that's very common colos colocation. Very good. His hand was trembling. Um, true. Okay, good one. All right. Nice logic there. Good job. Okay, Michael, what do you think? Well, I have three reason. Three. Uh, Ooh, do you? Three explanations. Okay. Yeah. Tremble because it has two vowels in it. <laughs> uh, all right. Only one. 
This yeah. is fast. Tremble because it has two syllables. Tremble. Yes. Okay. And yeah. sigh because when you sigh you make a noise. But trembling, blushing and frown you can only visible, you can only see that. Ah uh, okay, you stole my reason. Ah uh, okay. And blush because Oh, your your, your face is turning red, but in those cases there is no changing of color. Mm, okay. <laughs> although sometimes, more? sure. Although sometimes when people tremble, they turn white. But okay. Okay. Uh, -huh. uh, okay. uh Andrew, what do you got? Michael stole my. He stole uh, mine too. Explanation about sight. That uh, you make a noise with the. <laughs> yeah. When I originally thought of these, that's the first thing I thought of, actually. Okay, anyway. Can you come up with anything else? Uh, I thought about syllables, about two syllables, tremble. Uh, yeah. Has, uh, and uh, I had no other formations. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Michael wiped you out. Okay. Yeah, you didn't wipe me out though, Michael. I have one more. I uh, sure? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, Give me a hint and I will tell you mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. Three of these words start with uh, phonetic combinations, consonant combinations. Bull, wow. BL, FR, FR, and uh, TR, TR. Psi is a pure phonetic sound. Also, psi ends with a vowel sound, it's the only one. So two reasons I can pick Psy. Mm. Mm. You're the champion. Yes. Woo! <laughs> yes, I've done this before. I'm. That's not my first time at the rodeo. <laughs> uh, I bet you are doing like uh, every day, twice per day, uh, yeah. like uh, at home with uh, at home. your family, like at that's home right. with your family. <laughs> like let you explain this game. And you throw four words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> ah, I wish. I wish I had time for that. Um, okay, let's let's see. Uh, let me do one more. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, oh, here's a list for you. This will challenge your brains. Hello, Ken, by the way. Yes. Hello? Hey, hey. <coughs> yes. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you again. All right, uh, okay, we started out with simple nouns and we moved to verbs. Uh, but now we're doing something completely different. What have we got here? We've got a mess. Here's the four words. Nonsense, ridiculous, inane, and bunk. Hmm. Hmm. Nonsense, ridiculous, inane, and bunk. And what is the meaning of inane? Inane, uh, just it, so stupid it doesn't make any sense. And bunk. Uh, bunk mm -hmm. has multiple meanings, actually. Okay, I have to be forthcoming because I'm the teacher. All right. Uh, a bunk can mean a type of bed, usually a single small bed basically made, like uh, in the army you get a bunk. They're not giving you a queen size water bed, alright? You have a bunk. Uh, also, bunk can be an adjective, which means, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, it's bunk. Um, yeah, it is an adjective. It's bunk, it's baloney, it's um, something that is untrue, uh, a falsehood. It's false. It's a lie. Uh, but it's an adjective. Uh, but we don't say it, the 
the bunk story. Yeah, you can say the bunk story was disproven in the papers, for example. But we're more often are we're going to use a linking verb and say the story was bunk. You know, uh, just made up. It was just false. Hmm. Okay, so there you go. Uh, let's see. Who's going to start this time? Poom. What do you think? We got a tough group this time, Poom. Uh, yes. Um, I'm looking for the answer. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean the 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 four um, words. Maybe it's a synonym. Uh, nonsense, ridiculous, any name or not. But uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if punk is is the the word. Uh, okay, Sergio. All right, hang on. Wait your turn. I'm gonna let everybody have a d chance to go first, and everyone yeah, yeah. have a chance Sorry. to go last because it's harder to go last. Okay, Poom. What do you got? Yeah. Uh you said uh, bunk can be an adjective? Yes. Mm. Or so now. I'm looking on the dictionary right now. I, but nonsense. There is no adjective form of nonsense. But the others is adjective. Are adjective. Ridiculous in name bunk. Nonsense. Ah. Oh, so nonsense is poom? The only one that has a noun form. Only a noun form. Yes. Aha. Very good. Poom for bonus points and a gold star for the day. How could you make nonsense into an adjective? There is a suffix we can add. You know? Mm. No, I, I don't know. Uh, whoops. Nonsensic? Ish, ish. Uh, you're very close. Very close, very close. Nonsensic is extremely close. Uh, Nonsensely. Nonsensical. Oh, Wow. Okay, nonsensical. Uh, very good. The nonsensical play uh, got horrible reviews, for example. Yes. But uh, nonsense by itself, actually, Poom, I, that is brilliant. That was a really good one, actually. Excellent. Nice job. And you used English to, uh, to figure it out. Very good. I love it. Thank you. Uh, nice. Um, let's see. Let's go to Ken. Change up the order a little. Ken, what do you think? Which word does not belong in the group? Nonsense, ridiculous, inane, and bunk. Mm, bunk also means uh, ridiculous or stupid? Or? Not exactly. Bunk means um, a bunk story. is a com Maybe a common co-location. It means... Um, or the story was bunk. It means it's true. It's made somebody made it uh, uh, untrue. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Slip of the tongue. It's made up. A made up. Mm -hmm. It's made up, and it's just complete, uh, con total falsehood. Mm -hmm. All right. Not just a little bit wrong, but it is completely false. Mm -hmm. um, people. Okay. Uh, the verb is debunk. Okay, so if you debunk a myth, for example, if you prove that uh, there is no uh, Nessie in Loch Ness, you debunk the myth. Mm -hmm. D, okay, it means the opposite, debug mm -hmm. something, you take the bug out. Mm -hmm. So you take the total falsehood away. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously very much related words. Yeah, as, as a student said, nonsense, only the nonsense is different, you know, uh, category and grammatically. 
So it should be like that. Yeah, but you've got to give a different reason. <laughs> a different reason. You, you, oh my gosh. There is no one reason. There is this really? game is totally totally hypothetical. There's no winner here. There's no perfect reason. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, bank is made up story. It doesn't necessarily mean nonsense. You know, some made up story sounds like truth. Okay. All right. It sounds like the truth. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I guess so. Stories that, you know, we use the word bunk to describe stories like, oh my goodness, like, uh, oh, the idea that um, men never landed on the moon and they just filmed it in Hollywood is bunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's been proved they, they can, you can actually look at a flag or you can look at the lunar lander with a telescope that you can buy at Sears. So the story that no one, the conspiracy theory that there are no no astronauts went to the moon is bunk. It's mm -hmm. been debunked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. All right. What was your reason? Totally uh, you know, you know, you know, Nonsense, ridiculous in then and it's a all ridiculous nonsense, but bank. If if the bank uh, is a made up, uh, something made up, and you know some stories made up. Yeah, yeah, some stories uh, sound like truth, even though it they it's sound like the up. truth. Yeah. Mm, all right. Well, I won't give that one to you. Okay, Andrew. Okay, um, I see. All right. First, I thought about uh, ridiculous because uh, it's like a, it's the only word that means funny. Because uh, wow. other words mean just uh, nonsense and uh, nothing else. It's the first reason. And the second one is uh, inane. It starts starts with the vowel. Wow, wow, wow. so, <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> true. Okay. Ah, that is true. Uh, ridiculous actually kind of has two meanings. Um, it can be very similar. Uh, it can mean. Uh, it can mm -hmm. mean kind of stupid, crazy, all right, a ridiculous story, and who believes that? Or it can it. mean funny. It has two meanings. Okay. Actually, you're absolutely correct about that. Uh, okay, Michael, what have you got? Well, ridiculous, because it has the most syllables. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, okay, I was kind of waiting for someone to say that. All right. And uh, bank, it has like multiple meanings, more than two. No? Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Um, it has different meanings in different word forms. Ridiculous. We just uh, Andrew just pointed out really has two yeah. meanings, but one of them means funny, which the others do not. Okay, but bunk, you said like bad? Not like, bad. Uh, um, a, a bunk means a story that's completely made up. It's just complete... Yeah, but bad. Let's just sleep. Bad, oh, bad, just... bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, bad. yeah. Oh, I thought you said bad. Oh, okay. My, my bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. Kind of bad. Okay. Yeah, bad. And second True. one is like um, a story... Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Uh, like uh, only two? Yeah. Okay, then I cannot. It's the same as ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but they're different word forms. I mean, that much is true. Uh, and and oh, yeah. And nonsense because uh, it has uh, in the beginning like no, like negation. Actually, no. Uh, yep, it's a prefix. Prefix, yeah. <laughs> non. Oh, okay. Inane. Inane. I think in is a prefix here, but what is ain? Ain. Let me see. Uh, I <laughs> you're gonna end up. <laughs> okay. So ain is one. Ain is what? Is one. In one. 
That doesn't make sense. That's inane. <laughs> okay. Sergio, what have you got? Okay, okay. Maybe maybe I think the clue. If you are a bank, yeah, you say maybe stupid things and in fact you are a ridiculous too. And maybe um, you talk uh, no sense words, yeah. maybe. So no sense, ridiculous, and bunk maybe is the same. But I don't know what is in name. <laughs> it, but in name means something that is completely not logical. Not logical? <laughs> yeah, to the point of just being stupid is in name. Yeah, so the, the, the four words is the same? Well, they are related, and that's why they're a little tough. They're, yeah. they're all slightly different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not my so, job to make it easy for you, Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. So hard. It I, 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 I can't guess what is the word. It is. It's very hard to go last in this in this game. It's the hardest. It's yes. very hard. Uh Okay, I've got to tell you guys, I withheld information. I did. I'm an evil, evil person. <laughs> I actually, I didn't think about it until, uh, until, really halfway through, or even further. I, I didn't think about it until Michael was talking. But actually, bunk can also be a verb. Uh, you bunk with somebody else. It means you sleep with somebody else. And in, in totally not in any kind of sexual connotation. You bunk with your cousin at summer camp, for example. Mm -hmm. All right, you're bunking with uh, your cousin Fred, and you're bunking with your cousin Bob like that. Totally not. There are no sexual connotations there. It has to do with saving space, basically, mm -hmm. and like when you're camping. You, you bunk with your brother or your cousin or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So actually, it can be a verb as well, and that definitely that is the only word there that can be a verb. Okay, is is another reason. Okay, but that was not very fair because I wasn't clear in my <laughs> definition. But I'll clear it up now. Okay. Um. All right. Look, uh, we're two thirds of the way through class. Does anybody? have four words they would like to share and let all the rest of us try to figure it out. Uh, anybody at all who has four words can step right up and give it a shot. Otherwise, I'm just going to make up something again. <laughs> what, is the, the word, what is the word for like when you get married uh, and you like and your wife, you have like what the document where is written that sorry i'm confused so when you're going to marry yes you get you engaged get married, mm -hmm. yeah but you sign like a document with your wife the marriage license marriage mm. license the name in english yes okay <laughs> okay yeah my three words Three. You need four. Wow, twice. Okay, passport, ID, driving license, and marriage license. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, very good. Um, Andrew, why don't you go first this time? Uh... Yeah, the It's a bit difficult because um, are they all official documents or? <laughs> well, that is a very good question, Andrew. <laughs> what what is ID? <laughs> It's just actually an acronym for identification. I know, but where? <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> well, you that's why that. that's why I think ID is 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 not well because yeah. the others are official documents. Okay, you could have your college ID, which identifies you as a student. You could have your work ID, which identifies you as a worker. There are many, 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 many forms of ID. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the other three are official government documents, and ID doesn't necessarily have to be. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah, i go for that. That's... Absolutely true. Okay, Ken, what do you got? Okay, uh, mm, the difference. Mm, two of them, uh, children cannot get two of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but which, which one, one of is different? <laughs> children. Cannot get, uh, you Our know, license. drive, drive, driver's right. driving license and marriage license, but if they can get passport. Can they get an ID? I think so, kind of ki ID of kindergarten or something. Really? Or elementary school? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Uh, I don't know in Japan can... either, but in America, <laughs> no child yeah. I've ever met has an ID. Okay. Uh, but uh, maybe they can show their uh, their uh, children's bank in the elementary school. It's I, I'm not sure in uh, America, America, but it's Australia, yeah. Japan, children bank is somewhat common elementary for elementary school kids. What's it called? Uh, children bank. I don't know. It, children it, it, bank. Yeah, bank uh, came to the er elementary school uh, to you know a kid uh, can open the account that kids bank. Really? The to maybe to run bank system or or how to save money, or to steal children's money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you must yeah, you must Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that's totally new information to me. Fascinating, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. All right, that's a yeah. new one. Okay, so. All right, so you're saying a child may have an ID as well. So you, that still leaves you hanging then, Ken. You, you're, you've logicked yourself out of picking the odd one out. Which one is the odd one out? Only one difference. Oh, driver's ID, passport, ID drive. Or is the driver's ID passport? Mm. By the way, just to be clear, in okay. English, we usually don't say a driving license. A uh, driver's say, license, yeah. We usually say driver's yeah. license. Right. The policeman will say, may I see your registration and driver's license, please? Okay. As he peers at you mm. over his dark-tinted sunglasses. I s categorized two of them, but uh, I cannot specify one. It's only one is different. Passport ID, driving. Oh, I can I can see. Really, driver's oh, license. Yeah. Mm, marriage license. Mm. I don't know. I, I give up. <laughs> Ken gives up. Oh yeah. my goodness. Ken gives up. Sergio, w what have you got? What do you think, Sergio? Sergio, are you there? Are you indisposed? Okay, I guess we we'll go back to Sergio. Uh, okay, boom. Okay, I think the first one is a marriage license. Why? Mm, because it is one man and one woman to get a license. Need a couple to get a license, but ah. passport, ID, and driving license, driver license, I can get one. it by myself. Ah, good one. Very good. Nice one, Poom. 
Oh, that's good. I hadn't. I totally had not thought about that. Uh, absolutely true. It takes two to tango. It takes two to get a marriage license. Absolutely good one. Oh, that's my favorite. Sergio, what do you what do you think? Are you there? Yep. I'm okay. Here. All right. Okay. Which one? I, okay. I think the the word is marriage license because Why? because passport, uh, ID driving, ID and driving license. It's a document to identify you. So the marriage. Okay. Uh, it's uh, maybe a contract uh, between a couple. Ah, very good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's right, Sergio. In fact, I was thinking, hey, you know something, Sergio? I, if I'm of questionable age, um, not sure if someone's not sure how old I am, I can buy a beer with a passport, an ID, or a driving license. Uh -huh. If you're... Mm, 21, 22, and the, the person doesn't know your age, good luck trying to buy a beer with a marriage license. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right, exactly. Okay, Michael, did you have anything in mind when you wrote this? Do you have uh, any other ideas? No. No? Really? No, no ideas. No, uh, with passport you can travel abroad. Oh, well, yeah, okay. And, and those, of course... You cannot. You only can use them as documents internally in your country. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I, I would also like to point out that ID is an acronym, and the others are obviously clearly not. There is something interesting about your list, Michael. I also would like what? to point out Passport is a very clear and obvious compound noun. Uh, driver's license and marriage license are also, in fact, compound nouns. They're just two-word compound nouns. Uh, ID, which stands for identification document, identifying document, that's complicated. It's not exactly a compound noun. However, it is... It's an acronym, but ID. We strangely, all four of these words use the same um, pronunciation stress pattern, compound noun pitch pattern. Passport, driver's license, marriage license, high marriage license, and uh, ID. ID. Strangely, they all do. It's actually an interesting choice of four words. I liked it. Uh, does anybody else have four words they'd like to share? Uh, Andrew, you got... Poom, you must have something. Andrew? No. Okay, it can. Steps up to the plate, hits one out of the park. What the heck was that? <laughs> okay. Ken has adventure, court, <laughs> court can be an adventure, dinner, and sky. What a crazy list. Oh, my goodness. Uh, question, uh, has there uh, several answers or only one answer? There should be, there's probably multiple answers, and the uh, more we sit here and think. In that case, this is not a pr uh, appropriate question. It's no, it's only actually... One answer. No, it's fine. I, really? I disagree. Um, okay. <laughs> I think can come up with something. I think it's definitely possible to come up with other, to more than, for more than one answer. All right. Okay. Um, who has not gone first yet? Everyone's gone first, except Ken, but it's Ken's list. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go back to Michael, I guess. Michael, what do you think? Adventure, court, dinner, sky. What the heck are we going to do with that? Dinner? <laughs> no, sky, dinner. 
card adventure adventure they are um, all different this is my <laughs> answer they really? are all I, I, completely different it's, it can be challenging oh I can so adventure can... the it has uh, three syllables adventure okay but, but dinner all... has two yeah but uh, these three so <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what do you No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Can't. All right. Uh, Poom, what do you think? Can you come up with anything here? Uh, I don't know. You don't I'm know. Just, what? I'm just thinking. You're just thinking. Can Can you just ask an other first? No, I can't. Sorry. Sergio, what do you think? Mm, okay, let me think. Adventure. Adventure is a way to be happy and activities. A cartoon is a, a, a tribunal court. Or, or if you like... Uh, Someone. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Dinner. It's it's, it's eat something. Mm hmm. Mm, and the sky is is <laughs> similar to heaven, but but I I don't know if sky meaning another. Yeah. yeah not that I know of, really. Sky. Is cake maybe is hanging something? Yeah, <laughs> Boom's looking for sky meanings. What's that, Sergio? The sky is uh, hanging something. Yeah, not really. Sky, when you look uh, up to you and you see blue or pumping. <laughs> What? Pumping. Pumping? Yeah. With pumps. With pumps? What does that mean? For which word? I lost... Sky, sky, sky. Sky? No? Uh, I don't... I don't... I don't think so. I, I don't know. Uh... Okay, because I, 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 I saw in, in, in Google tra tra later. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that. If there's something to do with pumping in Sky, <laughs> I don't know it. Ah, okay. Okay, according to what I have, Sky is the sky. It's that, that whole blue thing that's above your head there, Sergio. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it can be used as an informal verb to hit a ball very, very high into the sky. Mm -hmm. he's, okay, mm, like okay, he's, okay. He's sky, he, the baseball player skied the ball. Okay. Ooh. Took off. Mm -hmm. And so... I don't know what, what, what is there. What is there? The word. Adventure... <laughs> Everyone's, everyone's stumped. Okay, adventure. Maybe it's um, uh, a kind of of category. Uh, kind of. Adventure. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe. We're all stumped, Ken. Ken stuck it to us. Ooh, I just discovered something else I did not even know. I think it's adventure. Yes. You think it's adventure? Why? It's, it's, it's only the word that starts with vowel. Starts with a vowel. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that one works, which makes it totally unique. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Andrew, do you have anything? 
uh, I'm thinking about crazy think about uh, yeah. open op about hiking or something about uh, traveling into the uh, nature maybe because yeah. uh, adventure dinner and sky is something that you experience well this of course it's like a, uh, experiencing mm -hmm. the in the buildings or something else. <laughs> All right, it's crazy. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I that it has logic to it. Um, sure. Thinking about the words in context, where could they be used? Yes. Um, yeah. All right. No, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll give you one. And Ken, obviously, you had a reason when you started out that you were thinking because you were thinking there's only one reason, but. Uh, I have some interesting English facts to share with you. To adventure, we adventured in the wilderness. That can be a verb. You can court a girl. Sergio mentioned this. If you mm -hmm. uh, if you are romantically involved with a girl, you court her. You take her on dates. I just mentioned that you can sky a ball into the sky. You cannot dinner. Which is actually fascinating. I just learned this right now myself. Dinner cannot be used as a verb, and the other three can. Why I said this is fascinating and very, very odd, while dinner cannot be used as a verb, in fact, lunch can be. You can say, we lunched at Fastino's Grill, for example. Uh, that is perfectly acceptable to do, strangely enough. You can also say, we breakfast, we breakfast at Denny's. You can use breakfast and lunch as a verb. But for some peculiar reason, you cannot use dinner as a verb. Weird, huh? I, I learned something in these classes myself. Uh... Okay, Ken, what is your genius, uh, your evil genius here? <laughs> what, what were you thinking? Sorry, sorry for confusion. Yeah, uh, my intention is, you know, the only the word sky is Scandinavian origin, and other three words are French origin. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, wow. My goodness. I never would have thought of that one in a million years. Okay. Wow, that's a good one. Okay. Well, that is just absolute genius. Uh, I had another reason. Oh, to pick dinner. Oh, the double N's. Mm -hmm. Double consonants. That was another one. Uh, and I think I picked. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, oh that's about it. Uh, you know what, guys? We've only got seconds here, so uh, it for me it's uh, it's bedtime. <laughs> so I'm calling the game. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you very much. Michael, thank, thank you. Michael. Thanks, Sergio. All right, you Thanks. guys, uh, enjoy the rest of your night, whatever you're going to do, but I'm going to bed. I'm really tired. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Have a nice weekend.